So I call it feel the feelings. Uh, now the thing with the ego, one of the main things that the ego likes to do is to not feel and to think. So if there's an uncomfortable feeling, if there's fear, anger, anxiety, guilt, usually it doesn't want to experience that, any difficult emotion, or, and, they can, and there's often a reservoir of repressed and suppressed emotions which are out of consciousness. Sometimes, as you sit, will start to come into awareness. So, so we're doing the opposite in Feel the Feelings. We're actually letting go of identifying with thoughts and just allowing any sensations or energies or feelings, let's say in the body, to be fully uh, experienced. So I'll give you an example. So let's say I was feeling uh, fear in my stomach. So if, I was, if I, so if I was feeling fear in my stomach, or it could be pain, it could be pain in the ovary area, or it could be... Uh, uh, pain in the side of the, you know, in, in the side, or it could be any kind of sensation. Uh, so whatever one is, so it's just identifying or experiencing what is being felt right now. Uh, so you identify that and then just allow that to be experienced. And as the thoughts arise in consciousness, just disidentify from the thoughts. So it's just try essentially it's like trying to feel or trying to allow whatever experience is without going into a story about it, without going into the future or the past or making some label about what is experienced right now. If you stop identifying with thoughts, let's say there's fear in the stomach and you stop, you know, and your head wants to make a story like, oh, I need to do the shopping or I don't like this fear. If you just, <clears throat> what you're doing is you're catching the thoughts as soon as your attention gets distracted into thought. Let it go and be back with the feeling. Yeah? And as another thought emerges, just disidentify from that thought and be back with the feeling. So it's just like you're allowing whatever sensations or energies or feelings to be experienced. And as you distract, if, the, if focus gets distracted into thought, just detach from that and be back with the, with the energy or the feeling. If you keep doing that, any kind of sensations or feelings in the body or whatever will start to dissolve as you just spend time with them and let them be. If there is some kind of um, mentalization going on, or if there is some kind of supervisor in the background making sure if the process is doing it properly or not, just switch that off. Uh, as soon as you disidentify from thoughts, it's actually there's not a you that's feeling, because a you only exists if there's thinking. So it's just allowing the feelings to be and to evaporate, evaporate away. What you're, what you're doing in this practice is, as you get distracted in thoughts, quickly detach, be back with the sensation. So you're learning to allow everything, all the suppressed energies and feelings, to be dissolved away without going into a story or making labels about them. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to practice that for about, uh, say, about uh, five, five to ten minutes in silence, and then we'll see how, how we went. So we just... Sitting in silence, just allowing everything to be experienced. If you go into thoughts, detach from those thoughts. And then, essentially, if all the feelings are experienced out and you start to not identify with thoughts, one should is going towards a, a more infinite state of beingness. You know, because you can dissolve out any feelings of limits. And if you're not attaching to thoughts and, and detaching, disidentifying from thoughts, you should get more like a more a feeling of, but depending on how many feelings there are. And as different layers of feelings or energies come up, just let them come up and, and evaporate away. Uh, so we're going to do that now for about five to ten minutes and then I'll stop and then we can see how, how we do with that.